Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to use Blackmagic RAW files while still editing in Final Cut Pro. I just wanted to find some kind of workflow that will make this possible since Blackmagic RAW of course is this very cool format which gives you a lot of options. And what I would have done until recently is of course to import Blackmagic RAW files into DaVinci Resolve and later on export them as one of the better ProRes formats, namely 4444 or 4444XQ, which are virtually lossless and you get that 12-bit color range. But on the other hand, you lose, of course, uh, these capabilities just of raw video and also they are really, really massive in size, which is not good. But anyhow, enough talking and let's create a new project here in DaVinci. And I will just call that something like XML Round Trip FCPX. Create. And here we are. So now go into Finder and take your Blackmagic RAW clip. I'm just doing that with one here. Drop it into your media pool and go to your editing timeline. Drop it in real quick and go straight to your publishing site. I choose the Final Cut Pro 10 template. Browse for location. I just save it right beside my old clip in a new folder. Open and now of course we want to choose a format and we want to choose 422 proxy because it's just for the rough cut and we don't need that much information. Render at source resolution and in advanced settings check full and retain sub black and super white data. Add to render queue and start rendering. Once finished, jump right into Final Cut and check Import XML. And now we here have our new XML file we just exported and it creates this new timeline. Open it and you can see our clip loaded right in. And I guess you knew all this already. But anyhow, I'm gonna edit this clip. I'm gonna cut it in half. Maybe do some speed changing. Why not? It's shot in 120 frames per second. Drop in a generator. I'll choose this curtain here. And don't worry, my UI is in German, but that doesn't matter for you. I think you know what to do in Final Cut. Now export this XML. Yes. And we give it a new name. XML round trip resolve maybe save and jump back into DaVinci Resolve create a new project from file uh, save this one first why not and I will call this one FCPX backtrip enter it opens the new project and now import this timeline here, XML, and we choose the new one and it automatically connects these proxy files that Final Cut did and uses as well. Set the resolution. We could check use color information, but I won't do that now since I didn't change anything. Hit OK. As you can see, the timeline loads in perfectly. The generator will come back later in Final Cut, so don't worry about that. And we just have this project here now. Next step is to go to your media pool and add a new bin, call it high res or something. And here we go to finder and drop in this bra file once again. Then now select every clip and disable conform lock enabled. Next step is to choose the timeline, go to timelines and uh, sorry, reconform from bins. Choose high res, not master, and the time code and the file name, leaving it on tight file name match. 
click OK and it loaded in the new bra files. If you get an error message like this, just click on the bra file down below here and say change. That's not a problem at all. And we can go straight to the coloring page and do a quick color grade. You can see it's the Blackmagic R files. I can access the data and can access the settings. And I'll just go to the log wheels here and change the shadow a bit, drop that. You know how that works. I don't have to explain that. There are plenty of tutorials on the web. And I'm just going to do something quick here just to show that it works. I choose a lot. Let me drop the intensity a bit. And I will just copy that over. New serial and paste. So that's done. Let's go to the publishing page. And same steps as before, really. Final Cut Pro 10. Browse for location. Again, I create a new folder. Call it Round Trip. Open. And the settings, of course, go to video. And now you can choose 42HQ. And that's, of course, not lossless, but we already color graded and we don't need 444 format. So choose that. Um, of course, go down here, data levels full, retain sub black and sub white, and uh, to render cubes and start. Once that's done, go back into Final Cut, import another XML file and choose the new file we just created here, import, click on the project, and as you can see, it loaded in, color graded, high quality, the generator is back, we have no problem at all. I hope that helps you guys out, and goodbye.